Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. Today, I want to give you guys a really good story about XRP and the price potential or maybe just the potential of the crypto space in general. I think this is a really important video to watch, but having said that, I want to start off here by giving you guys some really interesting news on Coinbase and the Coinbase stock. Now, what I just saw here is mind-boggling stuff. Let me tell you guys, all right? Coinbase went public a little bit ago. We all saw, we were all watching, and the price tumbled to the mother freaking ground. We were all watching, it was really freaking interesting. But apparently, Mr. Will just came up with some uh, really, really interesting numbers. Remember when everyone said that Coin IPO was going to create a huge wave of FOMO and be so big? Well, clearly, Coinbase didn't believe that because minutes after being listed on Nasdaq, the CEO, Brian Armstrong, has actually sold 71% of his shares for about $300 million, I believe. The CPO sold about 97% of his of her shares, Charlotte Chirurgy. The CFO, the chief financial officer, has sold 100% of his shares and some of the presidents, I believe, or this, well, let's see another, whatever, here maybe, just a lot of the other guys have sold a freaking huge part of their shares. He's saying 100% here. Uh, I'm not exactly seeing that here. I mean, let's quickly see. President, 51%, and your president, 63%. Not exactly sure about that then, but let's just believe it for what it is, right? They sold a freaking ton, a freaking ton of it. And here at the bottom, you're basically seeing a lot of things are happening right now. Jim Cramer dumped almost all of his Bitcoin. C executives at Coinbase dumped their bags on average 80 to 90% of their shares. Gary Gensler appointed the SEC head all within a couple of days of each other. It is definitely quite interesting. I mean, a lot of these guys are jumping off. A lot of things are happening in terms of regulations. Some guys are expecting some heavy regulations to come into the crypto space right now following all of this. But damn, damn, damn. Even this company here sold all of their stock. Holy freaking smokes. Again, you can see it all in here. We, we got all the information, but in the end, it's not really that interesting. It's mostly interesting that these guys then do not believe in the future of Coinbase. If the CFO, the chief financial officer who goes over all the finances, at least he's the highest chief in terms of finance in your company, sells 100% of the stock. Again, it might be two reasons. One, they expect the price to come down and want to buy back cheaper. Okay, uh, we will see another filing pretty soon here if that's the case, because right now they're high net worth individuals. I believe we'll see whenever they buy and sell this this, this type of shares. I think so. Uh, but secondly, I firmly believe that they just think, okay, Coinbase right now is booming and zooming because of crypto hype, because crypto is going crazy. But I don't think they I don't think they really think this is the true value. Either the price per Coinbase share should be significantly lower because, well, it's really not that good of a company. If we start to kind of compare it to, um, I guess, a lot of these decentralized platforms or more so, I don't know, better. It's just Coinbase doesn't make profit when things hit a bear market. And I think they know that too. And crypto has been going off for a little while. Now, having said that, this is the platform that I'm trading on. And make sure you press the like button and subscribe if you are enjoying these daily crypto updates. Want to give you guys a quick rundown of the live stream and what I was talking about. A lot of people are saying, Dusty, this is clickbait. You're stupid. Hold up. Wait a minute. What is going on? Because the title had something to do with this, right? Crypto market could surge 500 times, Rupal says. He also pointed out to the fact that currently the digital asset sector is 2.26 trillion. So what is it going to be worth? At least 100 times from here still? probably 200 times or maybe even 500 times massive opportunities. Now, I went over this for myself quickly in my head, like where do I think the crypto market can go? And I really think that this is important for you to do too. Otherwise, you're gonna have this restrictive mindset, which we'll come back to later. Just think for yourself here, what is really the maximum that this could get to? Let me give you guys a couple of hints, right? First of all, American debt, about $30 trillion. In five years, gonna be at about $50 trillion in just debt. That's just a little statistic to have. But then again, let's go to some other numbers. He, Raul Paul here says, this is a multi-quadrillion dollar world that is being developed in terms of flow. In terms of the stock market, the bond market, the equities market, all of these things are two, three, four hundred trillion dollar markets each, he said. And really that got me thinking. If you do not think that crypto can get to at least a hundred, once more, maybe half of any of these other markets worth $100 trillion worth, we're not on the same page. 
I think you have a restrictive mindset that's not allowing for these bigger possibilities of where crypto is about to go because I firmly believe that crypto might even outshadow some parts of the stock market purely on the idea that these are actually currencies and such a different realm. It's just so much more like money and you guys all know the real money now nah, that knows no bounds, right? The real money in that sense. So I'm not sure if it's going to be more like the equities market or what, but a hundred trillion dollars once more, maybe a fourth, maybe a third, maybe the half of one of these other markets. I definitely think eventually is possible. And once more, that would basically mean times how much would it be guys? Let's say times 20, maybe as a start, I guess. Nah, that's even really low. I was thinking here, but uh, right now the crypto market is about 2.2 trillion. Let's say it has to go times 50 to get to 100. And I'm thinking 200 is going to be easy too, but let's say about times 50 to get to 100 trillion dollars. Well, okay, so that would place XRP at what? 60, 70 dollars, maybe 80 dollars, something like that. Who really cares? It's something along those lines, uh, about 86 maybe dollars. Having said that, where's the 500, Dusty? What's coming up? Well, my thought about that one was, what if we go to about 200 trillion dollars? Let's say we're going to go about 100 times from here. Let's say a little bit less though, about 80 times and 90 times from here. There's something else you guys are forgetting, I think. And that is the amount of market cap that XRP will take in the end of things. I firmly believe that XRP will overtake what it had back in 2017 at least. And that is about 17.6, rounded off 18%, meaning we are right now at about 3%, which is already really high in comparison to where we were like two weeks ago. But it's already really high. Let's say 3%. Getting to the 17% is times six-ish, right? If we then do the math, Okay, so in the current market cap, 2.2 trillion, XRP is going to have at least six times more of a presence, which already, again, puts the price per XRP times six. If we then also increase the entire market cap by times 80, which I think is not that crazy, I definitely think that is possible. Boom shakalaka, you got your number right there. Once more, it, it's not an exact science, but that's also because I'm just saying a really kind of far outlook, which I do think is possible for crypto. If you think this is really impossible straight up, I think you're restricting yourself. If you think this is hard or really far away, boom, you have a point, all right? You definitely can build on that. We definitely can uh, you know, agree to disagree. But I, I, I wouldn't be able to agree to disagree on the fact that this is not possible because nobody can tell me out there that this is impossible. It's just... No, that that can't happen it's, that is impossible <laughs> that is just you would be the anomaly in this sense because it's just it's just crazy to think that is not possible once more i'm only saying it might take a long time it might not happen within one mo mo uh, bull cycle might not happen within five years but eventually i think we will get there once more we don't even have freaking etfs for every crypto just quite yet we don't even have a freaking bitcoin etf in the united mother freaking states we are nowhere Canadian regulators greenlight world's first Ethereum ETF. Boo-hoo, okay, we got one thing. Then again, XRP also has to get it, right? XP is, <laughs> we don't even have a properly regulated crypto just yet. No crypto in this world has been properly regulated. Bitcoin and Ether are stories left, right, stories left, right, but none of them are really good stories because in the end, the SEC's statements don't really matter. There's no public framework of work as to how those coins have been regulated. And it's just like, they said it is, so it is, but they never gave a really good answer for as to why. And again, the basic story being, it really isn't that far if you start to think about where we are at. Really, crypto hasn't really traveled that far just quite yet. I mean, right now we are excited about XRP, in this case, physical XRP on coin shares uh, kind of being launched. That is something which is really mind boggling as well, that we are happy about this. XRP is a multi-billion dollar asset. We're still happy about these listings. This should be the normal. This should all be the norm. And if we really get into those prices, this is like, oh, uh, another one? Oh, okay. Because it's just going to be one of your main options. Right now, this is like the first. Like you're, you're seeing kind of pioneers in some sense. Left, right of new integrations for XRP, but for crypto in general as well. It's really crazy because we're still really freaking early. Bitcoin just surpassed Facebook's market cap at $1.14 That was pretty damn cool. Once more, this is a freaking change of gold. Gold is 10 times as big. We're not even close to it yet. We're one-tenth of gold just to give you guys some idea. It's really freaking crazy. And here's another one. Who really accepts crypto? It's like 0.1% of the world actually accepts crypto. If you start to think about that one once more, we have so much more room to grow. And I'm not even sure if everybody will accept it, but at least everybody will have thought about it, will have made a proper equation, and there will be ways to spend it at least everywhere. Right now you have the cards, but that is actually basically like spending dollars because they often sell the crypto before it gets there, or they need to also be involved with crypto themselves, which they probably aren't. 
So in this case, you're most likely just selling your crypto before it gets to them, which is basically them giving them dollars anyway. So what what's the point of that one? I don't really personally see it. Also, I don't really see a good reason for selling your crypto anyway or using a cart like that. But then again, who actually has the option to pay for it? Really not that many stores, really not many institutions. And since you can't pay uh, you know, your, your, your IRS with this currency, it's still not really legal tender or anything like that. I'm also kind of unsure exactly where it's going to end up in the end. Will it become an equity? Will it become... What will it become? You know, really, I'm, I'm kind of wondering about this. Is it going to be regarded as like a stock, basically, where you, of course, can't pay with a stock? Or is it going to be like, well, it's basically just like you were to have euros in America. It's like, well, they, they know what it is. They, you know, they kind of accept it, but they kind of don't because they want to have US dollars. How does that work? You know, I, I'm really kind of confused with that, amazed by that. A little side story was the whole bearable guy one, two, three ordeal. I was seeing a lot, <clears throat> a lot of people quote now about 589. The whole bearable guy one, two, three thing is not about really this whole idea of crypto growing that much is basically about 589 in 2018 even this theory is not new it's very freaking old it's just being brought to life every here and there and there's a ton of people thinking that that's still going to happen and uh, this year or anything like that well once more is it possible in terms of price once more yes it is uh, is it likely to happen anytime soon no is it likely to happen this year very extremely unlikely extremely unlikely but then again um <laughs> this guy here says, when the noobs flock into XRP and ask his 589 a realistic target, I want you to look them dead in the eye, grab them by the shoulders and say, I don't see why he can't hit 60000 like Bitcoin. And then we dump on them at 7 to 13 or maybe $17. And I think that was pretty funny. Because in the end, a lot of us were early, quote unquote, early investors into XRP. The majority of you guys that are, wa that are watching right now are still early adopters of XRP. And at $13, you will at least have 10 times your money. If you haven't, that's strange. Let me put it like that. That's really odd. If you haven't 10 times your money at $13. Yeah. And for a lot of us, it's actually times 100 maybe or even times more because, well, we've been buying those dips, right? And then if you start to think about it like that, if you started out with, it, let's say, for example, $1,000. Yeah, you're getting some really crazy money. You don't need 60000 or You don't even need to think about that or dream about that. You don't even need 589 Maybe $20 is enough. And so... Yeah, you can definitely maybe dump some coins at that point. I don't really know. I'm just basically putting up the idea here that there will most likely be quite a lot of selling pressure from the local community at about $12, stuff like that. Then again, the majority of people will still not have even bought at those points. I still think it will continue on as time moves on. And as long as XP stays in this top, which I think it will because of its utility and because of the fact as to how Ripple played it and because they got David Schwartz, the freaking goat of crypto. Yeah, I think it's always going to stay high. I think it's always going to keep increasing in market cap, um, but kind of dominance as time moves on. And eventually, I don't know if it will overtake, which again, there's theories for that. There's definitely um, validity to those claims that XRP will even overtake Bitcoin. But then again, this is the same for saying Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin or the same for saying Litecoin will overtake Bitcoin. It is just possible because no coin is necessarily number one forever. Uh, there's no fixed signs in that sense as well. It's basically as crazy as saying Bitcoin is going to hit $50 million per coin. Is it possible? Well, theoretically speaking, yes. It just sounds really freaking ridiculous in my head right now. But is it possible? Well, once more, I, I don't really see there's any cap to anything like that. If you think there's a cap to any of those prices, any of those ideas, I think you have a restricted mind. I think, think about it for a real good second. Sit down and think really freaking properly about what you're saying, what you're thinking, and then come back to me. Uh, but people just commenting and hating on me now in the comments saying, no, it will never happen. Okay, uh, but we agree to disagree on that one. If you don't think crypto could ever get to $100 trillion, though, yeah, that's just, that's to me, that's really odd. That, let's, let's just keep it as that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Just wanted to quickly elaborate on the live stream because it was long and the point might have not been clear. So um, that is that. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video, hopefully tomorrow.